Hey folks, Dr. Mike is Tell you for Renaissance Periodization. Real quick before I start the actual topic, which is my show day peak for my bodybuilding transformation. Hopefully you're tuning in last week and the week before. If not, uh, then check those videos out. Something that has been bothering me for some time and I want to tell you guys about it and ask for your opinion. So please feel free to comment below. Like um, the song Maniac. You know, she's a maniac, maniac, oh no, oh. that song. There's a claim, one of the lyrics is, she's she's dancing like she's never danced before. Now, are we supposed to take that as option A? Her normal dancing game is quite high, and she's elevated to an altogether new level of expressiveness, fluidity, coordination, and just general impressive ability. Or is the accusation that she's dancing like she's never danced before, an insult being that her dancing is so terrible that clearly she has no practice in dancing according to the, um, the singer slash observer in this case. Let me know which one you think it is. Uh, brilliant minds are curious about it. But something less intellectual is my bodybuilding transformation show day details. So last week's video talked all the way up through the peak week. Now what actually happened during the competition day? Well, here's the super top secret shit behind the scenes. Woke up at 6 a.m. And that was awful because I had to go touch up the tan. And it's so when you talk to tanning people and you're like, hey, when do I have to touch this up? Because Friday I got my first tan. And they're like, yeah, just come around uh, at 6.30 a.m. And I was like, God damn it. Because hours until you have to go to the show. And I'm like, okay, fuck. I like my sleep. I like my morning sleep. I showed up anyway. Tanning is a trip because you basically just have your dick out in front of a bunch of women, actually, and other men and other bodybuilders. And everyone's so over it that, like, you just look at other bodybuilders and you, like, look at each other's bodies and dicks everywhere. And you're just like, what up? And they're like, nobody cares. So that was interesting. Came back after the tan touch-up. Went back to sleep. Surprisingly, I was able to sleep. I did a lot of, like, um, preparation mentally for the show. And I told myself I wasn't going to get anxious and I wasn't going to allow myself to get anxious for long because anxiety is stupid and pointless and it's a fucking bodybuilding show who gives a shit, right? And I successfully pulled that off. So I was like, came back and I was like, oh, I can go back to sleep. And I did. And at 8 a.m. woke up and went to go to the pump up area because the show was supposed to start at nine. They told us they'd be, be there by eight, got there by eight and um, found out that the show pump up area was outdoors. And it was 45 degrees. So what the fuck? So I went back to the room and went to chill and sleep and got a bunch of sleep. And luckily, my uh, coach and handler at the time uh, there at the body of the show, Jared Feather, came in huge, as he always does for all of his clients, um, because he hung around that area and texted me when it was time for me to come back. So I could just chill. Turns out, uh, as, as quite predicted, judging occurred uh, at around 12 p.m., which means I started pumping up at, oh, just kind of feeling out the area at 11. By, you know, 11.45, I was really uh, actually pumping up. And uh, then I was on stage for like, I don't know, we were on stage for five minutes or something like that. Uh, I was done by 12 p.m. I went back to the room and consumed rice cakes, jam, and whey pudding. Not as good as you would think that sounds. 70 grams of protein and about zero grams of fat and 300 grams of carbs. I wanted that last tightening up refilling because when you're posing on stage or pre-judging, you do burn some glycogen. You want it refilled and barely any water because I'm still trying to dehydrate. And at this point, I was looking better and better every few hours because of the dehydration and the fluid shift. And I was like, oh shit, okay. And I was actually able to sleep uh, and chill a bit more. I was really surprised because I really don't sleep well when I have tanner on. It feels awful. All I'm going to do as soon as I get spray tanned, I want to take a shower fucking immediately. And I just hate it. Covering my head, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm trying to sleep and I usually can't. But this time I got a great night of sleep before and I slept throughout the whole day. It was really awesome. 7 p.m. I emerge from my delirium and walk to the night show. On the walk over, I went hypoglycemic. I was like, oh shit. Uh, and mind you, there was no insulin use at the time. Uh, so I was like, okay, fuck. And I had 70 grams of carbs from rice cakes. That that fixed me. Sat around backstage. It was a lot of people had gone by then. It was only the heavies and the supers left. 
And I actually met Mark Lobliner, uh, chilled with him, didn't know who he was, found out uh, shortly after. Met uh, Jose Raymond, super famous ultra bodybuilder who was actually uh, Mark's prep coach. And they were super chill. I didn't even know who I was talking to until like half an hour in. And I was like, oh, shit, you guys are the shit. I know about you. And they're like, oh, yeah, stop uh, this and that. Um, and then the finals were done by 8.30 p.m. I took second place in the class of like eight super heavies, which was kind of neat. I was the shortest and the leanest, which was awesome. You know, short, I didn't pick, but the lean, that was really cool. And uh, then I went uh, back to the hotel room and took the best shower ever because, holy crap, a day and a half of not being able to shower, all that tanner. It's awful. Amazing religious shower. Left the hotel by 9 p.m. This was in Scottsdale, Arizona. Got Went right to Albertsons, which is a grocery store. Got a ton of diet sodas because I'm ultra dehydrated at this point. I had a little bit of uh, water to drink right after the show. Strawberries, apples, uh, some melon, and ate that stuff um, during the drive back to Las Vegas, which takes quite some time. About three hours into the drive, we stopped at a gas station, myself, Jared, and our friend Doug, and uh, we I had a bunch of protein bars and Quest protein chips. And I didn't pee until the next morning and had like probably two gallons of fluid and no pee because my body was so dehydrated that it was like, uh-uh, we're keeping all this. And then afterwards, I did the diet recovery and everything like that. That stuff we will cover in another episode of this little, uh, you know, me talking about myself bullcrap. Anyway, comment, like, subscribe. See you next week.